to discuss about braking of a vehicle, which we have, uh, we are continuing from the last session in which we have discussed about mechanics of a braking. Here in this particular session, we will going to find out effect of a braking on our vehicle through our CG or center of gravity. In first case, we will going to discuss about braking of a vehicle from our for, uh, front wheel and then we will discuss about braking of a vehicle rear wheel and ultimately by all the four. So we are getting into this. Let's discuss about basic terminology in our braking. First one, in first uh, diagram, you can see the see here motion of a vehicle is going from one point to another, which is uh, going on a slope, which is making angle theta. Here, here it is, it is making angle theta and uh, in which our load is acting through a CJ which is W and which have two components W sin theta and W cos. This is compensated or balanced by reaction occurred at front and rear wheel which is RA and RR and RF. This reaction will be balanced by our load. Ultimately, <clears throat> this uh, motion will be helped with the help of our inertia force or you can say inertia force plus our uh, center of gravity or you can also can tell that acceleration created by our center of gravity here so here here the frictional force will going to oppose our motion here uh, let's uh, discuss about basic terminology rf and rr are the total normal reaction between the ground and front and rear wheels mu is coefficient of friction clear B is a base of wheel, clear? Here you can see base of a wheel. H is a height of CG from the ground. L is a perpendicular distance from the CG at the rear axle. Here we will going to discuss, uh, here we will, it will going to help to find out or uh, establish relationship between different equations, clear? <clears throat> F is retardation produced by the braking force and W by G into F is reverse effecting force or nothing but inertia force and it is represented by nothing but M. M is nothing but our inertia force. So let's discuss once again terminology. Clear here the car is going at an angle with theta at the motion of something by the acceleration. Clear where its weight is acting through the center of gravity which have two components. One is sine component, horizontal and vertical component. Clear vertical component it is represented by W cos theta and horizontal component represented by W sine theta. Here we have inertia force which is WG into F which have reverse effect of that. Clear B is wheelbase, clear H is height of a CG from the ground and L is a perpendicular distance of a CG from its, uh, its rear axle. So ultimately braking of vehicle will give us the different uh, aspect while we are braking our vehicle from the front rail and all. Let's discuss about when we are applying brake at a rail. When we are applying brake at a rear, we'll just, uh, just consider this diagram. Clear? When we are applying brake it's a, at a rear wheel, clear? it will ultimately create movement through the rear wheel. Clear? Why? Because rear wheel, going to, uh, rear wheel will going to be stopped and your car tries to or tends to turn around that rear wheel clear through your CG and from your front. Ultimately, Ultimately, your movement will be worked through the CG as well as your rear wheel. Clear? So, let us discuss about the CG and the rear wheel. Clear? So, first movement, first movement will be created through inertia force which is, which is W upon G into acceleration and which is acting to the rear wheel through the height H. So, WG into acceleration into H. Clear? which is which will try to there are two types of movement uh, it will be occurred anti-clockwise and clockwise we, we are right now discuss about movement through the anti-clockwise so w g into acceleration w by g into acceleration into h it will try to create row movement in anti-clockwise direction second one is w sine theta and from the rear wheel the distance of w sine theta is nothing but uh, h so w sine theta into h another point here working as w sin theta into b upon mu clear as well as 
this this two forces w sin theta b upon mu and w by g into f upon b upon mu is nothing but forces are represented by coefficient of friction or you also can say that it is this is frictional force or frictional component which is occurred due to this w by uh, this inertia force as well as horizontal component and which is compensated by which is compensated by our horizontal uh, sorry vertical force which is w cos theta acting from that distance which is b minus l here you can see w cos theta w cos theta it is acting from this point here you can see cg point to our rear wheel and the distance will be b minus l so ultimately it will be compensated by w cos theta b minus l all we have to find out here is reaction at this w sin theta and w cos theta and reaction is nothing but acceleration divided by gravity here here we can uh, uh, see that the equation what we have done here that in first case we have took each and every uh, the sin uh, theta uh, one side and cos theta at the another side as well as the forces uh, at another side so ultimately f by g is equals to mu into b minus l cos theta upon b plus mu h minus sin theta here ultimately this is represented by nothing but when you are putting in in our first case we have seen that that this is nothing but uh, rr or you can say reaction at our rear wheel b minus l cos theta upon b plus mu h into w clear this is our final equation why we have put this reaction is nothing but clear reaction force is nothing but our w cos theta that's why clear so depending on that we can find rf also how we can find out this rf reaction at front wheel reaction at front wheel we can find out with the help of our equation which will be uh, seeded by this uh, moment clear which is nothing but w cos theta minus rr because ultimately rr plus rf both are compensated by w cos theta clear means rr plus rf is equals to w cos theta so rf will be w cos theta minus rr so what is rr here which is b minus l cos theta upon b plus mu h into w so ultimately our equation will goes like this uh, w cos theta which is uh, which will be common here we will common w cos theta so ultimately l plus mu h upon b plus mu h cos theta into w this will be our final equation to find out now what we have found out here is when we are applying brake to the rear wheel the moment created at the front and the rear wheel this was this is our output <coughs> to find out the moment at a front and a rear wheel i hope you understand this points very well let's move on to another uh, uh, another point uh, which is brake applied to the front wheel here you can see rr i have put here rr plus rf is equals to w cos theta and where our frictional force is represented by mu into rf so ultimately it will be represented by where rf is equals to w sin theta plus w by which is inertia force nothing but inertia force so rf into b which is represented by that moment now let's let's consider about this moment from the front wheel here which is also by the same equation w by g uh, into acceleration into h plus w sin theta h plus w theta w cos theta l clear the distance here you can see the distance is w cos theta from the front wheel is only l sorry uh, rear wheel is only l and here you can also see that the distance from that horizontal component is h from our front wheel uh, and uh, the w by g into f is nothing but our inertia force and which is acting through the distance x and ultimately it is compensated by reaction force at our uh, rear wheel into its distance from that which is nothing but a wheel base clear ultimately rb into b clear yeah? so this equation will be compensated and uh, will be turned into same equation the cos the uh, multiplier with cos theta will be the one side sin theta will be the one side and ultimately we will find out rf is equals to l cos theta upon b minus mu h into w this is our reaction at the front wheel from this very first equation we can find out reaction at the rear wheel which is b minus l minus mu h upon b minus mu h cos theta into w 
I hope you understand this point. <clears throat> what we have done for in first case we have uh, stopped the motion at our rear wheel. In second case we have uh, stopped our motion at the front wheel, and now we will be stopping the motion at our both the wheel. So when you are stopping the both the wheel, only those forces will be compensated by uh, frictional force. So FR plus FF is equal to mu into RR plus mu into RF. So ultimately when you are putting this equation because RF, uh, FR and FF uh, will be represented by W sin theta and W G by F. So ultimately here RF will be compensated by RF is equal to L plus mu H by D cos theta upon W. At the same time RR at a rear wheel, it is B minus L minus mu H upon B, which is cos theta into W. In the case of when, now let's have a special case when we have, we are going with this uh, leveled, leveled ground, here theta will be 0, so it will be, uh, cos theta will be 1, so ultimately it is, it can be put it like a equation 1. Here in the session, we have discussed about how this, how this brakes or application of brake will be working on our effectively on our stoppage of a vehicle as well as at the same time what amount of moment occurs at our front and rear wheel clear in the case of when we are applying brake at a front wheel uh, at a rear wheel and at the front according to this or depending on this we are we will find out our stopping distance at the same time because this RF and R will, RR are nothing but the reaction forces. Clear? And this reaction forces will be applicable to the, this equation. And ultimately, you can find acceleration. Here, you, you can easily find the acceleration depending on this reaction forces. And that reaction acceleration will be helped to find out stopping distance. At the same time, this reaction forces will going to help you out how you are going to balance your vehicle while moving position and as well as to design the dynamics of your vehicle. I hope you understand this points very well. If you have any doubt regarding to this particular video and particular points, you can directly ask me or contact me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm stopping here. And the reference book for this particular uh, session is auto designed by R.D. Gupta as well as design of machine element by V.V. Bandari. I hope you understand this point very well. Thank you.